Hello, how are you fine folks doing today? It's September 19th and iOS 6 is now available for hopefully your compatible iOS device and one of the new features is streaming has come to iTunes Match. We first saw this in one of the early betas and uh, you hopefully saw a video of that. And now this is the final official build that comes to the entire public and it's official that iTunes Match actually does stream all the music and our example here is that we're just going to go through a bunch of different songs. We're just going to be playing songs over and over again, all kinds of different ones, and not a single one will actually be downloaded to the device unless we specifically do so. And that's by tapping on the specific cloud icon like we're doing right here. And otherwise, that cloud icon's always going to be there to download the song even after you play it. Now, previously, as soon as you played a song and downloaded automatically in the background, you had no choice in the matter. Now it's up to you. You can download songs for offline listening, or you can simply listen to your entire iTunes Match library streaming without a single song stored on your device so it saves you gigabytes on your actual iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. The change in iOS 6 is a lot like the Mac version where say for instance you have your whole library downloaded stored on your iMac you can then access that same music on your MacBook Air or your Windows laptop without downloading a single song on the device and now that comes to the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch, so that's definitely nice to see. And you know, a lot of people, you can store up to 25,000 songs, so that means you have 25,000 songs, your songs you personally have uh, got collected somewhere to be able to stream on your device. So it turns iTunes Match and the stock music player on your iOS device into a Pandora, Spotify, or Songza type streaming service, and it really changes iTunes Match and makes it so much more worth the $24.99 a year price tag. In iOS 5 you saw the potential of iTunes Match but it really became a on-demand downloading service where instead of syncing all your songs from iTunes you could pretty much wirelessly download them instead of syncing. That's pretty much all it did. In iOS 6 it actually is a service that is quite useful and that like I said earlier you get 25, up to 25,000 songs available to stream onto your iOS device and we're showing here we played a, we're gonna end up playing about 10 songs during this video <laughs> thumbs up of course but all of them are just simply streamed not stored on the device we specifically downloaded two songs in particular and at the end of this video we'll show we'll turn off iTunes match and those two songs are still available on the device because we specifically downloaded them and you know the choice is there if you are gonna listen to your music and you want to store music on your device you can do that but if you want to just stream your device whether you have the iPhone 5 with 4G LTE or any iOS device that has an internet connection you're gonna wanna stream more often than not so that's where iTunes Match comes in and Apple did a great job of finally making it available on iOS 6 we'll let the rest of the video speak for itself thanks for watching and we'll have more about iOS 6 coming later so stay tuned